Hey everybody, welcome back. Now this is the first tutorial I've made in about four years, so I may be a little rusty at this, but let's get into it. First of all, what you're gonna need for this shape is a snub cube. Now, this one here is one magnet shorter on the edge length than the one that I made in my tutorial video for how to make a snub cube. That one had an edge length of nine magnets between the vertices, this one has an edge length of eight magnets. So go ahead and follow that tutorial video to build this and remove two more magnets from each edge of those subunits uh, beyond what I showed in that video and you'll end up with an edge length of eight magnets. So that's the first thing you need. Then you're going to need 32 of these subunits here. The way you make those is you start off with six stacked rings of 11 and six stacked rings of six. These are opposite polarities from each other. Um, start off with your stacked rings of 11, cut them up into three uh, double, double stacks and flatten them out into long straight pieces. As far as polarity goes at this point, to make sure you have the right polarity, you can attach this end here down into one of these triangle corners. And if it clicks in like that, then you know you have the right polarity. If it just sits on top and doesn't really click in, then you just flip it upside down. So you have these three and you want to make it into a triangle point, which if you watched a lot of my old videos, I use these a lot. Um, if not, you bring those three together. You bring them up like that. Take a chain of magnets and remove the three magnets in the center there. Just like that. Slide this over one pinch in the middle and bring it down until the middle three magnets split away like that. Remove those three. Bring a six. And three magnets right down on top. Now the edge length here is you will see uh, a short one, a medium one, and a long one. The medium one is what you want them all to be. So remove two magnets from the long edge and put two magnets on the short edge. And then you've made this part of the subunit. For the next part, you need these six stacked rings of six. Kind of the same story. Cut them up into three double stacks. Now these need to be the opposite polarity of what you use to make these. So if you try to touch these together on these dots here, they're not gonna go, they don't wanna touch. They go off like that. That's how you know they're opposite polarities, which is what you want in this case. So next what you wanna do is take six magnets, make a ring of six like that, smash them together and then fold so that you get Hold on, sorry. Make a ring of six, smash together, and fold. Does not want to cooperate, hold on. Sorry about that, found a magnet with the uh, coating eroded off in my set there, and that's why they weren't behaving right. So anyways, as I was saying, you want to take a ring of magnets, and just a six, smashed, and folded, so you get two stacked triangles. Then these, you wanna mesh down so that they make little straight pieces and then those will connect just like that. And you wanna do that to all three sides. And then you've ended up with this subunit here. Now this needs to go in here under the bottom. Um, this is a little bit of a delicate procedure here, but if you just carefully put them on like that, 
and yeah, it caught on the edge. It does that sometimes. So if you just kind of remove where they're stuck and then press down here where it's stuck on the edge, then it should come right together. These are short edges, so they have a tendency to kind of balloon out like that. That's fine. When you're done, that'll all go away. And that's how you end up with these subunits. And again, you need 32 of those. Now you also need six of these subunits here. Um, to do that, you need eight stacked rings, again of 11. These ones, polarity-wise, you'll need to make them so that they are the same polarity as the uh, underside of uh, these subunits. So what you do is you take your eight stacked rings of 11, cut them up into double stacked rings, and flatten them out into long straight pieces. Two of them you want to attach together to make a longer one, and then this one is gonna need four magnets added onto the end of it to make it one magnet longer. You take out the center magnet here, so it looks like that. Then for these ones, you wanna remove this one magnet on the point here on both of those. and attach them here and here. Then you take four magnets and you put them down just like that. Now, as far as the slope goes, you wanna bring these edges up until these center eight magnets come into contact with each other and then try and split them apart on the uh, underside like this. That's how you get these subunits. And again, you need six of those. So to begin assembling this shape, what you're gonna need to do is first modify four of these subunits. Um, and that's what these are for. So four of these subunits are gonna be finished off slightly differently. What you do with these ones is instead of finishing them off with the ring of six and then the small triangle on top, just going to remove that. If you come back to this part and you add one of these subunits down onto the top here, you add it now like that. It's polarity backwards. Just like that. And then you add three more that are meshed into this one. So we go like that. Like that. And like that. And these are just needed to build up the support so that this thing is able to stand on a flat surface. Go ahead and do that to the other three of these as well. And now that you have those down, you can begin assembling the rest of the shape. So to start off with, you take these four modified ones that you just did, and each of these is going to go down on one of these triangles. These four, you want to be on these four triangles that are sharing a face with this square here. So go ahead and attach all of those. and you'll end up with this shape here. 
Now, to connect these four, you would use one of these pieces here. Um, these can be a little finicky, so I find that the best thing to do is remove the single magnet. It can be a little hard to see from far away. These single magnets here, 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 and there. Take those off. It's a little bit easier with the chain of magnets. And then add them onto the ends of here. And now when you place it down here, it should click in without you having to mess with it too much. Just like that. Now, if you flip it upside down, this will be the bottom of the shape. This should fit, uh, should sit nicely on a flat surface. Um, but before we do that, let's uh, go ahead and add eight more of these along these triangles here because those are a little bit difficult to reach once you flipped it over. So these are, these edges here are a little bit too long um, on all of these and I made them too long because when you assemble these it's very difficult to do making it any shorter than this. But now at this point, uh, when you attach one of these to another one of these, you have to remove two magnets from there like that, and then one from there, and then one from here. So in total, you've removed four magnets there. So the edge is one longer, or rather one shorter than it would otherwise have been. And now when you put it down, it'll be the right length and attach normally. Just like that. So go ahead and do that to the other seven of those. Now, it's worth noting here that as you add these pieces on, uh, this thing really does start to deform under its own weight. The snub cube that's holding it up is not a particularly strong shape, so you've got to be really careful with it. This is probably about the most delicate part of it right here. Once you've gotten all those eight on, though, you can go ahead and flip it over. And then you can go ahead and add more of these on on the triangles and these on on the squares. Uh, I find that it helps once you have completed all of the points around any one square. Go ahead and add this on rather than wait until the end to add them all on. Um, because there's a little bit of, again, deformation under weight that happens as you build this thing up. And adding these on early can help to mitigate that a little bit.
Okay, last piece. And there you go. That's how you build this shape. I guess this is, I haven't really thought about the uh, title yet at this point. Interlaced Polyhedra V11, I think. Uh, it's a stellated snub cube interlaced with a uh, deltoidal icosatetrahedron. The uh, deltoidal icosatetrahedron uh, edges being the, uh, or rather, a, sorry, a pentagonal icosatetrahedron. These uh, uneven pentagon faces are the uh, other polyhedron that's interlaced between the stellated snub cube. I'm not the biggest fan of these uh, support struts, but that's the only way I've figured out to be able to make this thing stand up on its own. It's pretty fragile. I'm going to take a couple pictures of it, so hold on just a second. Okay, back. And even just in the process of getting some photos, the underside smashed up a little bit there. This thing is very fragile. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and smash it the rest of the way now. 